Today we're talking about ratios in context. Okay? Now we know that we have our ratio in simplest form and we can put a ratio into unit form, but now we're actually going to be putting it into a context. In other words, putting it into a scenario. So let's look at the one we have. Juice is made by mixing three parts of water to one part of concentrate. So what are they actually saying to us? They are basically saying that there are four parts altogether and that three of those four parts are water. So four parts altogether and three of those four parts are water. Now, how did I get to that denominator? By actually adding those two together. So when I look at this, it would be three is to one, a ratio of three parts water to one part concentrate. And when I add those two together, that's what gives me my denominator. Let's look at another example. In our next example, we have Alex who's making bracelets and she wants the pattern on those bracelets to be two pink beads, then five gray, then two pink and then five gray again. So that's the pattern she wants on her bracelet. Now they ask us if she's only got 20 beads, how many bracelets will she be able to make? So we want to know how many bracelets can she make if she's going to be using four beads per bracelet? Well, what we're going to be doing since she only has 20 beads is we're going to take our 20 beads. We're going to divide it by the four per bracelet and that's going to give us five. So we end up knowing that she can make five bracelets with the 20 beads that she has. Now they ask us, how many gray beads will she need? Well, for that, we need to look at our ratio. What did we have? We had pink beads to gray beads. And what did they say? For every two pink beads that we have, there's going to be five gray beads. And what do we know? We know that she has 20 beads. So what do we know? We know that she has 20 pink beads but we don't know how many gray beads she has. Now, how did I get from two to 20? I multiplied by 10. What I do to the one side, I'm going to do to the other side, multiply by 10, and I end up with an answer of 50 gray beads that will be needed.